Well, last week we had a cat's astrophe here. My favorite snuggler, Teddy, was laying on his usual spot, catching sun at the top step, stretched out from end to end. My little kittens were running up and down the stairs over top of him, just enjoying life and playing. And this poor little guy happened to run over top of him and piss him off. What are you doing? You're bad. And she got the death bite to the throat. Well, moments before I was in the house watching them playing and just entertaining my eyes for a moment. And then a customer came to the door and I went outside for five minutes. I came back in, and my poor sweetheart's side of her neck was ripped open. I could see the flesh, and barely breathing. She had an incredible time breathing. I believe she has a crushed larynx. She makes these funny growling sounds through her still constricted throat. I wanted her a lot to make sure she could keep breathing. The next day, her throat had swollen up really bad, I think from infection. She's of course has a poor immune system because she's young. I then uh, got some leftover really powerful antibiotics that I had for myself a while back when I had an infection. I scraped a little bit off each tablet and then mixed it with milk. I warmed up the milk, put it in this syringe, and started uh, feeding it to her to give her something to drink so she wouldn't dehydrate since she couldn't eat or drink by herself. And of course, inoculate her with the antibiotic. A day later after that, her throat swelling started to go away, and her constriction in her larynx didn't get better. She died. She, she lay on the ground, lifeless and limp, pee coming out of her rear end, and in death convulsions. Then I quickly got an idea. I had just fixed the transmission on my Volkswagen powered minivan, and this is the clutch actuator rod. It's eight millimeters diameter. I picked her up by the ears and shoved this down her throat about that far to open up the air passage and then still while holding her by her ears and stretching out her neck and I've, after I withdrew this thing the convulsions helped her to start breathing again and she gasped for air and came back to life of course since she was dead when I shoved this metal rod down her throat there was no reaction of course if she was alive she would have gagged and screamed and, and choked but since she was dead, she couldn't feel anything, but it worked. A day later, I created a better mixture because she couldn't eat to try to keep her hydrated and have some calories. I mixed the juice from a tuna can with my milk and sugar mixture and would gently heat it up and force her to drink this mixture so she'd have a little bit of calories so she could survive. She's, she was very weak. On the fourth day, I put her in the litter box, see if she could do anything, and she died again and fell sideways out of the litter box and lay on the floor. And I had to use my trusty metal rod, which you're playing with now, to save her life again. This time it cleared some mucus out of her throat. Well, every few hours, I've been, I was giving her my you know, milk and sugar and tuna water mixture and cuddling her. She was still able to purr but not meow. G gasping for breath, she could barely stay conscious and keep, kept putting with her mother and her mother would still look after her and tend to her but she couldn't suck yet. Today being Thursday, six days later, 
she finally was able to eat a little bit of mushy cat food when I put it beside her. So that shows she's finally recuperating. Her little nose is cold and wet now. She's still very weak. I'm still giving her liquids. And last night, for the first time, she actually suckled her mother's tits and got a little nourishment that way and looked a lot better in the morning. As you can, as you can see, her loving sisters are helping take care of her and treating her well. My kitties are eight weeks old now. I've given away the two males. So I have these three striped females left. They're excellent and playful. This poor little guy still is going to need some tender loving care. So if anybody wants a little kitten, come and get them. They're ready to go. I'm so afraid that Big Teddy is going to attack another kitty again. So I'd like to donate them to anybody before he does them all in.